today's celebrity substitute. Look at this avocado. Why is it so big compared to my head right now? To explain, we're going to talk about two important concepts in visual art. Hi, I'm Rachel Huang. I teach art in Compton, California, and today's lesson is going to be about scale and proportion. Joining me today, we have a special celebrity substitute, the one, the only, artist, actor, football extraordinaire, Terry Crews! Hi! <laughs> How you doing, Rachel? I'm so stoked. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. You know, Rachel, it's people like you that really changed the world. You know what I mean? You are a frontline worker at this moment. I just want to appreciate you. Let me tell you this, too. I've been drawing since I could hold a pencil. And to me, it's really not about whether you can do it or not, because everyone is truly an artist. It's yeah. about developing your sight, developing what you see. Thank you so much for expressing that point because I cannot express it enough with my own students. Like a lot of them just don't feel that they have it in them, that they're like, oh, I'm not a good artist. Art really isn't just my thing. You have to be bold enough to take that chance and keep trying. And eventually, like you said, you will develop that sight. You will develop your style. It might not be like everybody else's and that doesn't matter because what makes it different is what makes it absolutely rad. You know what, Rachel, that is the theme of my whole career. Exactly. No, exactly. I'm looking forward to teaching, following your lead. Let's do this thing. I absolutely love art. I live it. I breathe it. I blend it into my protein smoothies. But sometimes what seems like an image that should be easy to draw actually requires a lot of complex thought. So let's talk about scale and proportion. They are two of the most important concepts in the history of visual art. In art, scale means the size of one object in relation to another. To show you what I'm talking about, take a look at my stuffed animal here. I call him David Hasselhoof, okay? <laughs> now when you look at him right here, he seems pretty reasonably sized for a stuffed animal, but now, Check him out next to my other stuffed friend, <laughs> Amelia Eggheart. <laughs> okay. When we look at him side by side, we know that either that's one tiny horse or that's one absolutely enormous chicken. The relationship between their two sizes, that is scale. Proportion is related to scale, but instead of the relationship between two objects, proportion is the relative size of parts within a whole. If you've ever tried to draw a person and ended up with a dude who has arms that are way too big for his body, that's because of proportion. But see, I'm not, I'm not out of proportion. You see that? <laughs> so, Terry, I have a huge favor to ask of you. I have a student. She's a huge Brooklyn Nine-Nine fan. Do you think I could bring her on? She has absolutely no idea whatsoever. She's gonna be so stoked. This is so good. I've been so alone here in the house for a long time. I would love to meet somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Hi, Ms. Wong. Hey, honey, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm super excited. Okay, I know you were told that you were supposed to be teaching a lesson with me today, but I have a surprise for you. <laughs> there is a celebrity substitute today. He's <laughs> going to be teaching the class. Terry Crew! Hey, what's up? What's up? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Hi. How are you? <laughs> It's so nice to meet you. Uh, hi, it's nice to meet you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Now, I hear you are an excellent artist. Thank you. <laughs> so what are you working on right now? I have a couple things in here that I like. There is this that I did a while back. Oh, that is amazing. I love the <laughs> colors, you. the light. That is really unique. And then I have this. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Man, you are on the right path right now. <laughs> Thank you. Crystal, we're about to get into a whole lesson on scale and proportion right now. I'm actually gonna do some sketching and you're gonna see what I do. This, I hope you enjoy it, okay? I will.
Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> it can be really hard to make a realistic drawing. How do you do it? Well, the key is to use both scale and proportion together. Of course, sometimes as an artist, you might not want your art to be perfectly realistic. Jeff Koons famously takes balloon animals, which we expect to be small, and turns them into massive sculptures. Or in this Minneapolis landmark, Claes Oldenburg and Kusha Van Bruggen kept the proportion of a cherry and spoon the same as normal, but made the scale way bigger. And one of the most famous images of all time is this drawing by Leonardo da Vinci. It's called Vitruvian Man, and it was his way of practicing the perfect proportions. Now that we know the principles, let's use them. I'm gonna draw a still life, making sure to apply the concepts of scale and proportion. And for this still life, let's just use some items I have lying around the house, like, uh, a protein shake, a dumbbell, and a boxing glove. <laughs> there we go, I'm gonna put these down right here, like so. I'm gonna be using proportion to make sure that the dumbbell looks even and realistic. I tend to like to eyeball it, you know what I mean? Most of art is literally just mistakes and fixing the mistakes. <laughs> One thing about art is that people tend to judge themselves while they are drawing and doing what they do. And you really can't do that. Judgment tends to stop the creativity. Ooh, I like this. Okay, this is the dumbbell that I have it's beautiful. here. What do you think should come in there next? I think we kind of need to expand on scale a little bit. I'm kind of getting lost as to the actual size of it. Is it like Clifford the Big Red Dog kind of size? Or is it one of my dumbbell weights, like a little 10 pounder? Let's go with the protein shake because it'll establish the size of these dumbbells. Good idea. So what Terry is doing is he's taking a vertical object, a protein shake, which as human beings, we all kind of know what kind of size it is. He's going to place it in part of the composition to give people an idea of how big the dumbbell is. Okay, here we go. We got our shaker in there. If you can see Ooh. it, our shake is happening. Now I'm going to add the boxing glove. It's a much more a round shape, you know what I mean? I love it. I love that idea of balancing two very geometric shapes with a softer, more organic, rounder shape. It creates a little bit more interest in your piece, and it gives it a little bit more oomph. OK. I love it, Terry. I love how you put everything together. And as a first time teacher, whoo! Ah, thank you. OK, so what did we learn? We know that scale is the relationship between objects and that proportion is the relationship of sizes within an object. We know that sometimes artists play around with scale on purpose. But if your goal is to make a realistic drawing, you need to pay close attention and give the viewer both reference objects and a clear sense of the spatial relationships between everything you're drawing. And even outside of just drawing or painting, all these techniques can help you make sense of what you're seeing in the world. So when I put my face way too close to the webcam, <laughs> it's not that my head is enormous. It just means that you don't know the scale. Or maybe my head is actually enormous. <laughs> that was fun. Did you enjoy the lesson? There's a lot more where that came from. Hit the subscribe button now to make sure you don't miss a moment of Celebrity Substitute right here on YouTube.